Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. Of course, we've got another box in today and uh, it's a pretty decent sized one. Vive or Vive uh, pedal exerciser. Uh, now we got this uh, to get some exercise in, uh, easy to do that while you're at your desk and things like that. That's actually what this model is designed for, is to, uh, you know, kind of help you keep that heart rate up and uh, you can continue to keep yourself in shape, uh, maybe while you're at work uh, or while you're at home, uh, you know, sitting at a desk or anything like that. So uh, uh, nice and compact, basically kind of takes place of a, uh, a small exercise bike. Um, went online to look this up and uh, it was it was a relatively reasonable price, the $50, $60 range. So it uh, wasn't one of the super expensive ones, but it wasn't the real basic ones. As you can see, it does have uh, the, uh, the casing stuff here. It does have some electronics to it that uh, will give you some information and everything like that um, as you're using it. The other thing is, is it's also good for using on your arms. Um, things like this, ones that are designed this way. Uh, are designed, of course, for therapy for the legs as well as therapy for the arms for anybody that may have had an injury or something like that or maybe even um, may be recovering from some type of a disease that may have caused uh, atrophy or anything else. Uh, I, of course, have had something like that. I had leg injury and uh, so something like this is helpful to kind of keep my mobility up and uh, actually help me to to regain that strength and that musculature and stuff that I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and open it up and then we'll kind of go through everything that's uh, inside and uh, you know maybe do some assembly or something like that if that's required. All right so here we go we've got everything out of the box I went ahead and took all the wrapping and everything off and uh, you've got a handful of pieces so you do need to put it together they did try to compress it down as much as possible so that it would fit in the box without making it too big and oversized. Uh, it seems to be fairly simple in terms of putting it together you do have kind of the two feet here one for the front and one for the back you have the uh, pedals here they did come with a, an allen wrench uh, some uh, screws here, a few washers, and then an actual wrench right here as well. And uh, I'm sure that's definitely going to be for putting these uh, pedals on. Now just to show you, the pedals are not real big. Uh, you know, they're not the standard size that you would have on a bicycle. They're much smaller than that. And they do have these little kind of cutouts uh, on there. This, uh, this one looks like it has a, like a thumb cutout and then like a palm cutout. And then the other side has like four finger cutouts. And that, of course, is for using it when you're uh, working your arms and your hands. Uh, and then, of course, it does have these straps here as well as it is textured. Uh, and it's actually textured on both sides a little bit so that uh, you can put your feet in there and uh, be able to pedal with your feet so that you can, of course, use it in both ways. Uh, of course, we've got the entire uh, main unit here. It does come with a handle, so it is portable. Uh, you can pick this up and take it with you. As you can see, it does have an LCD display, and it does seem to have a uh, it does have a battery already in it, so you don't have to worry about buying batteries when you get it. There is a little touch button here. It looks like it has a thing that shows you how long you've been run, uh, running it or working as well as the distance that you've traveled. There's a thing that says something about speed, uh, and it looks like there's a handful of other things, RPMs, um, like I said, there's distance, there's a thing for calories, it tells you about how many calories you should have burned, uh, and uh, then there is, seems to be kind of a, a scan feature or something like that, not sure. Uh, I'm guessing it kind of cycles through maybe. Uh, of course, all of that will be in the instruction book here, uh, so for those of you who are interested in this, just kind of glance through there if you're not sure, and uh, it will be a little more specific than I'm being right here. But uh, so uh, there you go. And like I said, it, obviously there is the instruction book, and the instruction book is is not it's not real big. It's pretty basic. It does show you how to put it together. Uh, there is a, uh, a an exploded view. Um, is what it's called and that's where all the pieces are separated out but they have lines for how all the pieces fit together so if you just trace those lines from one end to the other it shows you exactly where on the machine uh, the different components are uh, placed 
And then uh, on the next couple pages, you get into uh, some more, there's some more assembly there, and then you get into the actual readout there and how to, uh, how to utilize that. And then with the last page, it does say something about uh, a warning. And I'm sure, of course, like the idea of any kind of uh, exercise or physical activity, um, depending on your, uh, your health and everything, that's something that uh, you may need to consult a doctor with if, uh, if it's something that could be too strenuous for you or uh, put you in a position that could harm you. Uh, it did come with a thank you card, and on the back of the thank you card here, it does have a uh, reminder to activate your warranty. Uh, now it looks like you can uh, go online and it has an activation or product code. It does have a one-year warranty on this, so uh, if it fails or anything like that within that first year, you, uh, you're definitely covered. Uh, I would uh, definitely suggest that you activate those warranties. Um, they can come in handy. Uh, a lot of us kind of blow them off. And uh, really, that you know, it, the warranty can kind of save you. I mean, yeah, sometimes stuff fails outside of the warranty. But uh, at least while you're in the warranty, if something goes wrong, you may be able to get replacement parts or even an entirely new unit if you don't get a chance that uh, somebody could uh, uh, work on it for you and actually fix it. So there you go there. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, I'll kind of glance at this real quick. Um, all right, so the large, the large foot looks like it goes back here with the handle. The smaller foot goes towards the front. Uh, it does take uh, two of the uh, screws for each one. And uh, we'll go ahead and put this together real quick and uh, you know, try to get this kind of up and running and working. Uh, but uh, here, here's the basic thing. As you can see, this is this is a uh, actually a uh, metal tube. Uh, it's a uh, rectangular tube, so pretty uh, pretty sturdy that way. We'll go ahead with the, uh, the large one first. Just pop it on the back end there. We're gonna go ahead and get one of these and put a. Uh, first one that we're going to put on it is the uh, lock washer which is the one with the split in it and then you're going to put on the regular washer over top of that and then once you uh, do that you'll take and uh, slide it in here start uh, spinning it in to the uh, to the tube there and then we'll go ahead and get the next one ready And uh, pretty, pretty simple and straightforward. Um, now these ones are the ones that uh, use the uh, Allen wrench, so we'll use this to tighten it down. So you don't actually have to supply your own tools to, uh, to get this to work right. Uh, you'll just use what they have with you. And the interesting thing is the Allen wrench also has a Phillips head screwdriver on the end of it too. So uh, you've got that to, uh, to kind of get it all, all together and... Uh, and situated. All right, so there we go. We've got the uh, two feet on there. We'll go ahead and put the pedals on, and uh, they should have they have a little uh, letter here at the end of the uh, the stud, and that is uh, telling you which side it is. This one has a little L on it, and uh, this one here has a uh, an R on it. Now, of course. Uh, if, if you've never put pedals on a bicycle before, uh, one you have right-handed and left-handed threads. Uh, screws in the U.S. are standardly right-handed. It means that you look at the head of it and you turn it clockwise. Uh, left-handed threads are ones where you look at the head and you turn it counterclockwise. So uh, you want to have it that way because as you're pedaling, one is going to pedal in one direction and one is going to pedal in the other direction and you don't want one side unscrewing on you while you're trying to pedal I mean that wouldn't be very very safe or very advantageous when uh, your pedals tend to fall off on you while you're trying to uh, ride a bike or you know pedal your exerciser now of course when you tighten these up you definitely want to make sure these are uh, tightened in there pretty firmly uh, because you, of course, don't want them falling out on you while you're trying to ride uh, or pedal or, or uh, whatever you're doing. Uh, again, this can be used with the hands. This is kind of the way that it's set up right now. 
and uh, we've got it kind of moving. Now, as I started moving it like this, the, um, the LCD did kick on, and it is giving me kind of a, uh, a readout of what's going on. Now, to understand it a little bit better, uh, you would definitely want to check out the instructions to know specifically what it's doing. Uh, something else that you want to, uh, of course, know about is this little knob right here. And that's going to be your tension adjustment. So right now it's on its lowest setting. Uh, roughly, there we go. I think, uh, yeah, that's all the further it goes. And that's on its lowest setting, and it's, it's pretty easy to turn. Uh, there's a little bit of resistance to it, but not a whole, whole lot. And then as you turn it up, it slowly gets stiffer and stiffer. Right now, I'm with one hand. I'm I'm almost struggling to kind of get it going around. So there we go. Definitely can give you that feeling of maybe pedaling uphill. Uh, you know, if you uh, want to get some more resistance in, uh, obviously that's a little bit with the strength training and things like that. All right, I think we'll we'll uh, cut it off from here. Uh, of course, this is the uh, Vive or Vive. Uh, pedal exerciser and again that can be used uh, both with your hands or with your feet. Uh, it's perfect size to sit underneath a, uh, a desk so that you can uh, use it at work uh, and kind of keep those legs working and moving and uh, keep your uh, maybe your heart rate up and things like that. And then of course with the fact that you can put it on top of the uh, desk or whatever you um, can then use your arms on it and use it for uh, strength or cardiovascular or uh, therapeutic uh, means there and uh, you know get kind of a, a full workout with it if, if you uh, if you so choose to all right guys well my name's Cougar uh, this has been another episode from the Amazon review series here on world of me uh, you can check the link for this out uh, it will take you over to the Amazon site for this one. And uh, there's also those links for our social media. Go ahead and check those out. And also, uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to like. Hit that uh, little icon that will be floating around here or that uh, button down below to uh, subscribe. And that bell icon to get notified of when new videos come out. All right, guys. Well, I would like to wish you all a good day. And I will see you later. Bye.